Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today we are going to looking at the structure of euglena okay as you can see very evidently on the board okay the euglena all right so uh we'll be seeing what the structure of organisms okay and of course today uh I want to see you at the distinct features of what of the euglena before we continue let us take a question from the o3 schools jam app all right please do not forget to like this video liking this video will make other students to easily find this video please click on that like button that that's like this just click on it now as you're watching it it does not take anything all right then do not forget to subscribe to this channel subscription is free so click on that red subscribe button below this channel all right please this is a new channel it's different from the other one as you can see this is o3 schools one the other one was just o3 schools we had an issue with that channel that's why we have this new channel all right so we're going to be posting on this channel we'll discontinue we're posting content on the other one please subscribe to this one now please subscribe all right so now uh Let's see a question. This is a 2013 question number three. They say the organ is being displayed on the screen right now. They say the organ which is sensitive to light in euglena is the A, chloroplast, B, eye spot, C, gullet, D, flagellum. All right. So there are many more questions about this, about euglena on this auto school jump app. I'm going to come back to at the end of this class. So let us learn first and then we'll come back to answering questions. All right. So the structure of you glean now all right so do not forget that this tutorial of course is brought to you by the otp school jam by it is all you need to succeed in your exam ask for the past question you don't need to go and buy past question outside all right it has all the um it has a classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus so you don't need to go and buy textbooks then we have the question search feature where you can search for question according to topics and all the questions that jam are set under that topic will come out for you to answer then we have the mock challenge that will conduct every weekend every saturday for all utme students all right so you compete with your mates win prizes get you to jam past questions get you to jam likely exam questions see your score release every week so you know go fear when they say jam don't release result to you say i'm not matter now they see my score every day now they practice and no say i know that i am ready all right so please get on that app immediately activate it for just a little token okay so we call you glina you glina viridis you glina viridis all right and of course you can see is what is elongated it's an elongated and spindle shaped organism you say it is what elongated elongated and spindle shaped and spindle shaped okay it is elongated and spindle shapes gen zip studio now we say elong long long and law, law. it's not that one though it's elongated and spindle shape you can see the structure okay okay it's elongated and spindle what shape we call it the euglena viridis euglena viridis the body is covered with what to call pellicle okay it's a pellicle here the body is covered with what with pellicle this pellicle gives it what flexibility flexibility and contractility contractility all right this word pellicle all right it gives what the euglena flexibility and contractility all right so of course you also see that it has what an eye spot this eye spot is the one that is what sensitive to light sensitive to light the eye spot is what is sensitive to light okay it is elongated and spindle shape contains a pellicle that gives us flexibility basic flexibility and what contractility and of course then we say it has this eye spot that's what sensitive to light okay we also have what the contractor vacuum this contractor vacuum it is used for what for osmo regulation for osmo regulation all right it has the contractor vacuum that it uses for osmo regulation that is for removal of what of excess what water okay from this what from his body for internal water balance okay that is what it uses what the contractor vacuum for all right it's for osmo regulation all right as you can see evidently it also has what, a flagellum okay this flagellum is what is used it's for locomotion okay for what for locomotion or movement okay or movement all right so it uses what this word flagellum this flagellum you are seeing this particular flagellum for what for locomotion and what um movement okay and likewise the euglena has both animal like and plant like characteristics okay so it has what some what some features that makes it what behave like an animal 
it has what a, a fit some features that makes it work behave like a plant. So we usually say Yulina is what it's in a past question. In fact, this is in a past question. Which of the following organisms has both plant-like and animal-like characteristics? And it is the Yulina viridis. All right, it has both plant-like and animal-like characteristics. Now let us see the what the plant-like characteristic. As you can see very evidently here, it has a chloroplast. Okay, and because it has a chloroplast. Many things you can draw from here is that what it is autotrophic, okay? It is autotrophic. It exhibits what autotrophic mode of what of nutrition. All right. That means what since that chloro chloroplast, that means you have a chlorophyll. That means can what manufacture its own what is food. Okay. So that is what that for that. So it has what chloroplast. That is one of the words. Plant like what? Plant like feature of what of the Eulina viridis. Okay. It contains what chloroplast. Chloroplast. All right. Likewise. Storage of carbohydrate as starch is tossed carbohydrate, the green average is carbohydrate as what? As starch. All right? Please take note of that. Number one, it has a chloroplast. Number two, it's tossed carbohydrate what? As starch. And then it has what? Definite shape. It possesses what? A definite, a definite shape. Definite shape. Okay? It possesses what? A definite what? Shape. The Euglena viridis possesses a definite what shape. That's also what makes it what uh, look like what like behave like a plant. All right. So that is what the plant-like characteristics of what of the Euglena viridis. Now we look at the animal-like what characteristics. Number one, it has what this eye spot that is sensitive what to light. Okay. So it behaves like an animal because one, it has what eye spot which is what sensitive what to light. That is one of what animal like characteristic. Also, it has what this flagellum that is used for, for movement. Okay. It possesses flagellum for what? For movement, for movement or for locomotion. That is another what animal like characteristics of the what? Of the Euglena. Okay. Now, it does not have a cellular cell wall. Okay, it does not have a cellular wall. Cell wall. It has what a wall. Okay, a membrane that was that, 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 that contains what you call glycoprotein. Glyco what protein. All right, so it does not what has what the cellulose or cellular, okay? But instead, it's what it has what a membrane that's what that is made up of, of what of glyco what protein of glyco protein. Please take note of that. That's another what animal like characteristic of what of the Euglena word veridis. Also, it has what this contractile vacuole that is used for what for osmo regulation. All these are what are the animal like characteristics of what of the word of the Euglena. The plant like it has chloroplast, as you can see very evidently. All right, that it uses for what uh, for what for uh, for producing its own food, making it what making it to be autotrophic. All right, making it to what to be autotrophic or what to exhibit what autotrophic mode of what nutrition. Okay, then we'll say number two is stores carbohydrate what as starch. And then it what possesses what a definite what shape. All right, those are plant like characteristics. Then we we'll say the animal like characteristics. It has what eye spot that is used for what for that is sensitive for to light. Okay, it has what the flagellum that is used for, for movement. It has the uh, contractor vacuum that is used for what for osmo what regulation. These are the animal like what characteristics. All right. So now I'm going to go to the other schools jump up. We answer few questions from the app about the Euglena and then we are done with this episode. Let's quickly check in. The question we're looking at initially, so they say, this is a 2013 number three question. It says, uh, which, the organ which is sensitive to light in Euglena is the, is the eye spot, okay? It's sensitive to light in the Euglena. A, they say chloroplast. B, eye spot. C, gullet. D, flagellum. That is what? The eye spot. Now, let's see another one. They say, a plant-like future in Euglena, a 2004 question number five. 2004 number five. A plant-like feature in Euglena is the A, pellicle. B, pigment spot. C, large vacuole. D, gullet. Okay? It has what? Pigment spot. The chloroplast. Okay? The chloroplast. Okay? Okay, that is what? A pigment what spot. So, that means that what? Uh, our correct answer there will be, what will be option B. All right? Then, of course, another question. 2022 uh, number 13. 2022 number 13. It says, which of the following organisms has both plant and animal-like characteristics? Has both plant and animal-like what characteristics? A, say amoeba, C, uh, B, paramecium, C, euglena, D, volvox. Okay, I've already talked about euglena having both plant-like and animal-like characteristics. Okay, I think um, these are still few, few of the questions. All right, um, let us see another one, 2019. Uh, number seven, 2019 number seven. So which of the following pairs of organisms are photosynthetic? Okay. It, it has chloroplast, so it is photosynthetic. First of all, to start with, okay. So now, they say A, uh, amoeba and paramecium, B, euglena and chlamydomonas, C, volvox and rhizopus, D, 
not stock and plasmodium. And the correct answer there will be what? Euglena and Clamadomonas. In the last episode, we talked about Clamadomonas being what? Photosynthetic. It also has what? A chloroplast. Then, of course, um, 2002, number three. The last one, 2002, number three. The animals that move by means of flagella include A, Clamadomonas and Euglena, B, Planaria and Amoeba, C, Amoeba and Hydra, D, Paramecium and Planaria. Okay, and the correct answer there is what is option A. Okay, the Euglena and the Clamadomonas they move, all right, with the aid of what of the flagellum. All right, so these are all we need to know about the Euglena. Please, very easy to what to know, so you should not fit any question under this. All right, I believe you won't. All right, so please, the next episode, I'll see you. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.